Good morning, everyone. Welcome for another day of exploration. We are standing in front of Porta Nuova. This tour is going to take us to discover an amazing little medieval town between Florence and Siena. I'm talking about Colle Val d'Elsa. This is a special place full of old medieval towers and also artisans. Stick with me and I'll show you around. The old part of the town was built on the top of a hill, hence the name Colle, which in Italian means hill, while Elsa is the river that flows nearby. Behind my back, we can see Palazzo Campana. We're gonna walk through the door over there to reach the oldest part of Colle Val d'Elsa. The first info that we have about Colle Val d'Elsa date back the 10th century and when we walk around it, it still feels like going back in time to the Middle Age. I am standing in front of a very special place. This is a house tower. Back in the Middle Age, the little towns around Florence were full of this type of architecture because the rich families of the cities were building their house towers to show off to show their money, to show their strength, to show their status. Once, this was the place where Arnolfo di Campio used to live. He was one of the most important architects in Florence. He built lots of incredible buildings, but I don't want to tell you anything about it. You have to come with me to Florence to discover more. Colle Valdelsa is famous for the production of crystal. Starting from 1800, Colle Valdelsa is famous worldwide for the production of crystal. This tradition has continued nowadays. In fact, many artisans still use old techniques to engrave and decorate crystals. And it's also a very nice place if you want to spend a couple of days outside from the chaos of the city center. And if you're looking for less crowded places around Tuscany. 